you are not alone. This is the resistance. Hello, everyone. Wow. Uh, it's been a long time. Uh, first off, let me apologize for the quality of video and um, audio, I guess, and whatever issues you may experience. And I'm filming off uh, just a little tablet thing, and it's, you know, not, not the best for this sort of thing. <sighs> wow. Uh, there's so much I want to talk about, and I've been trying to get together what to say. And uh, although this video is going to be posted to Facebook, its its intention is for YouTube. So I will be um, addressing someone on YouTube. And uh, <laughs> sorry, these videos aren't going to be edited, so it's just going to be. It might be a shit show, you know. It's, it might be whatever. Um, it might be a little bit of a long one because, like I said, there's a lot I want to talk about, and I don't know what to do. So. I'm going to smoke this and try to jumble some things together and uh, man it's been, it's getting crazy. It's getting crazy. I can feel it, the pressure, like a storm building. <coughs> we have all this division and we have all these people with good intentions that are just, you know, causing more shit. What's with this uh, political scale, this left wing and right wing? Honestly, I don't even know where I'd fall in. <coughs> <coughs> because I have a lot of, you know, mixed views and I don't understand. I mean, I look at it and it's like, if you go too far left, you become some sort of anti-fascist. And if you go too far right, you become some sort of... Nazi and the in-betweens are you know social justice warriors versus you know whatever and it... we're in a time in our world where peace is the most needed thing it's the most valuable thing we can have peace with our surroundings and peace with ourselves this shit man I should say a few things first before you get into it I like I watch a lot of like videos from uh, youtubers like bearing and uh, <coughs> You know, suit yourself, Mr. Epstein and uh, Jeff Holiday. <coughs> and I want to talk, I want to say a uh, special shout out to Jeff Holiday because I really, uh, I really appreciate your, your delivery and your opinions and what I like about you. And this is no disrespect to, you, you know, the others in the community, but I like you because, you know, you're, you, you show your face. And it's it's a more it's a more real connection. It's a more it's a more connection. You know what I mean? It's it's and maybe that's why more people from the other end are open to talk to you if they are. You know, I just recently started watching your videos. I think they're fantastic, and you know, Mr. Repsian too. I, he shows his face, and I really appreciate his work. Because me and him are a lot of alike. Um, I listen to a lot of bit of his videos. We're a lot alike. But kind of opposites, because he started off forced into Christianity, right? And now he's, you know, through his life events, is now an atheist, and that's awesome. And I started off as sort of like a, you know, an agnostic, I guess is the term. When I was a kid, when I was a kid, uh, uh, it's going to take some context, I guess.
first, I guess, uh, reintroductions. My name is Colin Luxinger. I'm 28 years old. I have no idea how to adult, and most would classify me as failing in life. You know, I, uh, through my own life events, I've come to a place where I want to explore the spiritual side of life and I, it sounds so messed up and to a lot of people but it's that's I want I want enlightenment that's always been my dream I want you know I want to I want to know spiritual thing I want to explore you know the only thing that you know with the universe how many people can access the universe to explore not that many right but there's this whole side of life that we can explore that exists and I know it exists because I felt it and I've experienced it and you know I have a son who I haven't even seen his face on Skype for for months it tears me apart man it does but it's up to me really it is no excuses. And I'm the last person I can definitely dish out advice to people, you know, even though I find myself, you know, not, I wouldn't say giving no advice, but I like to talk to people, right? And talking to people kind of helps me figure out my own stuff because I am a conflicted person, very conflicted. And, you know, I may have mentioned that in my previous videos on YouTube, and uh, maybe I haven't because I like to show a positive side, a mostly positive side, like, I want to show love and explore love, and most of my videos are about that, or about that, those things, but this video, I think, is going to be a little different, because it's, it's just going to be more real subjects, maybe something we can relate to, because we have all this confliction and we got to figure out a solution and me being the person I am I, I love first of all I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry that I keep you know jumping back and forth it's just my head you know I have a lot of problems speaking and and, and stuff like that um like I said these aren't edited so it's just <laughs> shit man where was I? Where, I mean, no, I can't even remember where it was, man. Life. Choices. Shit. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's why I enjoy... Sorry. That's why I enjoy uh, people like Mr. Epstein and Jeff Holliday's videos because they're, they're logical thinkers. And me being the person I am, I like to explore illogical places. Like, I like to try to find the reason illogical thing is like those coincidences in your life like running into a, that person you haven't seen in a while I'm the type of person that's like okay what do I I need to learn something you know what I mean and if you keep those people like around you or their opinions around you those are people that may think different from you um, it kinda keeps you grounded and that's why it's so important to explore other people's opinions and and beliefs to um, to see their perspectives to see through their eyes and 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 maybe piece together more of this grand puzzle that is this universe that is this life of connection with each other of who we are I mean I don't know about you but I spend a lot of time afraid to talk to people like um you know despite me saying you know you gotta connect I have a lot of problems connecting and maybe that's why I choose to do it through platforms like Facebook and YouTube it's a lot easier for me and that's something I gotta work on but I know one thing I can't spend and we can't spend this life just being afraid of things and being afraid of other people's opinions and Lacey Green 
you know, coming out and, you know, just being open. That's an amazing thing right there. And anybody who says otherwise is just a fucking idiot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm going to say this is just going to be a different video. Alright? Because a lot of this shit has me triggered. It does. <laughs> I may not look it, but I'm pretty triggered, man. And I'm, I'm keeping calm. We have uh, these feminists, and we have, you know, MGTOW, and we have whatever just spewing this fucking garbage. And don't get me wrong, like, I'm not saying garbage, like, everything you say is garbage, but these things like this feminism in the West, this third wave shit. And this, like, angry MGTOW kind of shit where he's just, like, you know. <sighs> In a time where you're so divided, we need to be together. And the only way we can be together is if we start exploring each other. And we not be afraid of those opinions. And, I mean, there's nothing more we so afraid. I mean, really all it is is people, people who cannot go outside their comfort zone like in the terms of different opinions are straight up cowards because you're so afraid that your own opinion is so fucking weak that someone else's fucking argument if you actually take a serious look at it is just gonna fucking shatter your reality and then you won't know what to do you'll just be fucked up I don't know like if, if, and you know what that's a good fucking thing Sometimes you got to get broken down so you can build yourself back up. And man, you shouldn't live life going with such a fucking weak life philosophy that it can just be shattered by someone else's opinion. What is that? And don't get me wrong, it's these SJWs. Don't get me wrong, I, I respect the idea of what you're doing of, of 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 spreading love and that equality of love but you're doing it in all the wrong ways shutting down free speech events and just you and you know just being forcing these these ideas that you have and and whatever you want and forcing them to, and people to, to say them and and you would get so upset if they don't call you, call you by your right gender. I I don't know what that's like. I've never been misgendered. I've been called a lot of things, you know. <laughs> but I've never been misgendered. So I don't know what that feels like. But I can tell you what, if you're so weak that a word or something like that can can break you down that much... You're going to have a hard time internally, you know, with your with yourself, with your soul, with your heart. Because fear makes us make these choices that we don't usually make. It takes us off our life path. You know, that path where you just, you look around and you feel it. And you it's all good like this is this is it you know I'm good I don't know I, it's hard to explain the feeling but I'm sure anyone who's experienced it knows exactly what I'm talking about it's good John Connor oh, coming out with that fucking bomb in his video wow I love that Loved his points. I'm going to address some Christian shit now, since me being a Christian. Um, well, a Christian individualist, because I was not, I'm not a Bible Christian. I was never raised a Christian. I was never, I never became a Christian by the Bible. I became a Christian when I went on my spiritual journey. And that's just, that's just the religion that I, you know, people need labels. And I felt right to call that my label.
What up? Black Jesus. <laughs> okay. Uh, but what I love about John when he said uh, the return of Christ, I mean, when 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 Christ comes back, <laughs> I, you know, I think a lot of people have this picture of you know the apocalypse and and you know light or whatever coming down or, or maybe their souls ascending or or what have you. They have this picture of of you know a golden white Jesus on this shiny white horse with this flaming sword coming to fucking strike down the demons of hell. <laughs> that's not it, you know. You know, hell and heaven, that's on earth. That's us, we make it. And, you know, we are that power of Christ. Jesus and God bestowed upon us. That's in us. And not only as Christians, but any person that can have that connection. It's hard to explain, but. But as Christians, Jesus taught us straight up that we have the power. And you do. And I think maybe you'll have a lot easier time understanding this book if you picture yourself instead of, you know, this whole heavenly ascension or descension, whatever you want to call it but as um, an inward ascension to your mind as a, as a consciousness as a whole as a, as a power you becoming this, this armored knight in this war of this fiery hell around you you know striking down demons with your own flaming sword Praise Jesus. Like John said, man, they can't handle one Jesus. Has some down. We have this power. And it's this connection, but it's through love. And Jesus laid it out. Love thy neighbor. You know. Love thyself. He's just straight up, just love. And that's such a complex term. How can we understand this shit from just from love? What does that mean? Oh, I don't have a. I don't have anyone that loves me. I don't have a woman. I don't have this or, you know. I don't know. In my opinion, I feel the way I look at it is that all these feelings, um, you know, happiness, sad. Uh, you call them what you want. All these feelings break down into to two feelings. You know, call them love and fear. So anything you experience on one category of this good feelings and feelings that make you smile, that's love. Where on the other hand, you have feelings that make you frown. That's fear. So... Instead of having all these complex feelings to, to choose from of what the situation is, you either have, does it make you feel good or does it make you feel bad, right? Love or, love or fear. So it's not just if you have a woman or if you have this. It's any situation or anything in any moment that makes you feel that. That's love. And you have to explore that feeling and you have to make it grow and you have to explore yourself. Because personally, I've spent so much time um, just fearing, I don't even know what, myself, these, these social tendencies, these awkwardnesses, these like, I fear, what is it? It's just fear. I've spent so much time fearing that I, I haven't been able to come to my full potential. And it's a long road. But at least I notice it, right? So now I can slowly adjust and build up to it. And maybe one day, not maybe, one day, I will be better. I will be my dream, what I want to be.
Give me one moment. Love and fear, man. Moments and choices. So we have these two feelings. Now imagine time. Time is just TikToks, right? And instead of time, we have these moments. Like in every situation, in every place you are where you're experiencing one thing or more things. Or just actually one thing, yeah. If you're experiencing one thing, that's just one moment, right? So it's been like right now, this is a moment. But if something new comes in, like a person with something more to add, that's a new moment. So you move from moment to moment. And every, in every moment, there's like a choice, right? You can either listen or do something or react or cause, right? There's always seems to be some sort of choice. So make the choice. So make, will the choice make you feel good or make you feel bad? Well, but it's not that simple because sometimes making a bad choice will lead to making you feel good. And making a good choice will make, make you feel bad in the end. Why is that? And I think maybe that's what leads us to all this weird shit going on in the world right we have real problems happening war building but we're so busy looking at this fucking circus that we don't see the big picture and what we're seeing really is part of the big picture because the last thing they want us is united and heck we're just tearing ourselves apart and if we spent half the time list like half the time that we spent fucking arguing l listening instead and talking, we would be figuring out some shit. We would be coming to solutions. If we just listened to each other. I'm sorry this video is so wacky. Like I said, there's a lot of, like... Just, just so much that I need to talk to you. I'm gonna have to end it soon because we're at what 23 minutes. I'm not a perfect person, man. Nobody is, and I think if we just figure it out our shit like what what's the real problem here what's the real issues because I'm a you know am I part of some systematic oppression because of my skin color you know and my gender man I have some fucking troubles dude yeah, everyone has troubles. Everyone has pains, man. You can just look outside and see someone. And just imagine for a moment. Just for a moment. First off, how many years they've lived. How many things they've seen. How many 
things they felt. What have they felt? What have they seen? What do they know? We just spend so much time spewing and spreading this fear. It's like an infection. It's just growing throughout these communities and 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 spreading and it's just a fucking horrible thing. It's a horrible thing. Let's just say, I don't know, man. Let's just say war was coming and the and the apocalypse was going to happen. What could you do? You couldn't do anything, right? So if it happened, and you had, like, if you were on the moment of dying, if you knew you were going to die in some situation, like some bomb or something, you had a split moment. In that moment, would you be happy with who you were? What you did? I appreciate all this hustle and grind to, to fight this with love, to spread this equality and, and, to, and to spread this uh, under this banner of love, but that's not, that's not love, man. You're spreading it with fear. If you, you gotta be more open. You gotta listen, because everyone has perspectives and everyone has lived this life in a different way, in their own each individual special way, and they've learned in their own each individual special ways, and they have their perception of this reality, and you can't just expect someone to understand your words, because words are rapists, man. Words, there's so many words to, to mean the same thing, to... to to, to define things and we each have this defined perception of a word you know what I mean like I could use the word God boom I just did how many of you are just like oh talking about some man like how many of you were turned off by the word I just said or how many of you had your own like straight up image of what I said was the word you know what I mean when I say God like I, I mean like just everything universe if, if everything like that's just my word for it that's the word I feel comfortable with using and I tend not to use it a lot because I understand that people get that image and each person we have these words that we're comfortable with but we don't realize that we can use certain words and the person's gonna automatically Interpret something else because their mind is already defined to that word. They already have a perception of it. So you're just in each other's faces shouting these same words over and over and expecting the other person to understand. But the other person already thinks they do understand. You gotta go, hey listen. I don't know what's going on here, but we gotta, we gotta talk about something else, or we gotta switch up conversation, or we gotta figure out a different path around this same subject. Because the words you're using aren't too good. A lot of the times, we have the same beliefs and the same ideas in a lot of aspects. But we have a different definition of them. I'm like, how do you explain this type of shit? Look, I don't know the answer. But I know the problem. Problem is, we're just so damn selfish. Each and every one of us, man. We could say we're not, but we are. We're selfish because we're not open to other people's ideas. We gotta 
build together. We gotta break down whatever's coming between us. And we gotta figure this out together as a whole world. And then we can move on to the bigger picture. Anyways, 30 minutes, man. Maybe this video is just a bunch of ramblings, I'm sorry. But, no script, no nothing. It's just, like, you know, top of the video. Um, thanks if anyone's actually stayed this long. And, uh, freedom to Kekistan. Peace.